Hello, and I'm going to show you how you can share games on Steam. Now, in order to do this, you must be on your PC. And then you must log in to the borrowers account. And this is the account where you're going to want to borrow the games from your main account. These need to be on the same computer. So make sure to log in. For me, it will be this one. And when you're signed in, we're going to go to the settings. So Steam, settings. And once you're in the settings, go to security. And right here, make sure that you have Steam Guard enabled. You need to have this enabled on both accounts. If you've done that, then you can close this down. Then sign out of your account, change account, and go to your main account. Okay, so once you've logged into your account where you have all your games installed, this is what you need to do. Go to Steam and then go to settings once again. Go to security and make sure that Steam Guard is once again enabled. Now, if you've done that, you can go to family and then click on authorize library sharing on this device. Enable this and then you can choose what accounts do I want to uh, share with. Now, if you've done that, then you can close this down. Go to your other account, which is uh, this one right here. And when we then go to the library, you will see that all the games from my other account are right here. So first of all, you will see that it will not work with games like GTA 5 because these are paid games. But Hand Simulator, it does work, which is also paid. But the thing is with GTA 5, you need to have a Rockstar account. So if there are like things that you need to create a, a second account for and you need to use like a third party service like Rockstar, then it will not work. For example, Rocket League, I can borrow. Risk I can play, Raft I can play, this I need to purchase, this I can play. So it will not work for every game, but for a lot of games. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe.